in remote places like here I am in, in uh, southern Greenland, which is amazing, it's great to have a connection to the world for safety and for working on projects or whatever. So the only thing that works is Iridium. Um, and this device is Iridium Go. And I'll just start it up by pulling up this antenna. And you'll see that there's a red light and that will turn to green in a moment. So I'll continue on with a couple of other, other things. So what this does is a few things. First, you can make calls, which is fantastic. You can uh, browse the internet. You can send messages to Facebook. You can send messages to Twitter. And then you can also um, uh, send and receive emails. So the first thing you need to do and, and you need to know about is that you first must download an app. And by the way, you do this all from your smartphone. So you first download the Iridium app. Just go to um, where, Apple Store or Android. Download the app. Register um, and register your email. So that's very important. Um, on the emails, you get your own account. It's something like whatever you want to call it at Iridium myiridium.net. And by the way, that sound means that we're uh, connecting. We're still waiting for the green light. Uh, the thing about the email is that um, you only get emails to that uh, address. So that's a special address. You could forward things, um, e your current email. See, there's the green light. So now we're ready to go. So if we're making a call, we just go to the app, dial the international code, and it works. Uh, but back to the emails, if we're, um, you could forward your emails to this, but I would strongly advise against it because you get all kinds of junk and every um, viewing of an email is a download and that could be very, very costly and just eat up minutes. Um, the other thing to know about is that this, um, I had trouble with browsing to the internet, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if I had the wrong um, browser uh, or what the issue was there. And for Facebook, you can send messages to Facebook. And the same thing for Twitter, you can send things to Twitter. Uh, Twitter, you cannot attach an image. So those are the few caveats. Um, and I frankly had it kind of hard to find information about what you could and couldn't do. It was a little bit challenging to find that. Um, and the other thing to note is that you need a clear day and line of sight. So today it's bright, um, but it's cloudy, so it might not go through. So that's the only other issue. But if you need to connect to um, the world for safety, make a phone call, um, upload images uh, for a project to Facebook or send some Im uh, images, this works. But the And the only other caveat or question or issue that I had too was it's hard to know when I'm actually being charged or when data is actually being downloaded. Um, is it when I check email or when I actually send and receive, hit the send and receive button uh, for email. So that's just really not sure on. Um, but otherwise it works. So greetings from Greenland.